big knot. There we go. It's Friday, it was day five I think of the trip. Trying some more ice fishing here. It's going slow. Been fishing for about an hour, an hour and a half. No bites. Got a stick there and uh, got my milk crate seat there and my jigging rod. Well, I think it's time to drill another hole because these ones are cold. Another angle. Beautiful scenery. I'm in about, uh, I think, 50 or 60 feet of water right here. There's a big drop off all along this island here, I think. All right. Took a while, but I uh, just iced my first one. Just a nice little uh, lake trout, a little eater, uh, maybe a pound. I might be able to uh, pan fry them whole by cutting the head off and gutting them instead of filleting them, which filleting uh, you don't get as much meat. So we'll see. Well, this lake trout was small enough that I uh, gutted them, left the skin on, and uh, I'm hoping that it's not too thick and that I can pan fry it. It's at the border of being too thick. I forgot my. Uh, pie plate that I can put on top of my fry pan to make a little bake oven. I forgot to bring that to bake these fish. For trout it's really nice if you don't have to fillet them. Um, if you can bake them or fry them each side then you can uh, utilize a lot more meat because the, you can pull the after flaking the meat off one side you can pull the entire backbone with ribs and pin bones out and then eat the other and trout, the scales don't slough off the skin if you're really gentle. And if, if they do, you, uh, you don't notice them if you, if you ingest a few. The tail part is ready to eat. Perfect. The skin there, get that off. Beautiful thing about trout is you can just lift the meat right off the bone. Now for the second half of the tail, the skeleton just lifts right off. And I just have to flake the meat or the skin off the meat, and uh, it's perfect. the upper part of the fish here. This is tough to pan fry because it's so thick. So let's see if it's done. I think so. Peeling off the rib bones really nice. And let's see. It's hard, you can't see, but the pin bones are right along there, and they're all left intact. So this is all, that's pure meat and pure meat. I'll clean that up, and then, well, I'll do it right now. And you pull the, completely boneless, and, Ready to eat.